Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Arithmetic Progression. Hello friends, may I request you to please click on the subscribe button below this video. The given question is find the sum 25 plus 28 plus 31 plus up to plus 100. So this is what being given in the question. Now guys this type of question this particular question is one of the important question as this type of question came in one of the CBSC board examination in the year 2006. So guys let us see how we can solve this question but this question is really a very simple and very easy one but let us see what are the things that we are going to do in order to find out the sum of this given arithmetic expression or progression. Now guys just I have drawn a table as usual I took the help of a table where I have considered 25 or the first number the, the first given number is 25 is our first term that is a1 28 is the second term that is a2 31 is the third term that is a3 and the last term that is nth term because we do not know which term it belongs to and that is a1 an an which is 100 now guys we are going to find out the sum of the given arithmetic progression and we very well know that in order to find out the sum of the arithmetic progression or the sum of this given number sequence we are going to take the help of the sum of arithmetic progression formula which is given by 2sn is equal to n into a1 plus a n now guys you could see that this is this is the arithmetic uh, sum sum of the arithmetic uh, sequence formula now if you look here we know everything but we do not know n now let us find out the value for n so in order to find out the value for n we will consider the arithmetic the famous arithmetic equation formula which is a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d with the help of this formula let us first of all calculate the or find out the value for n now in order to do this let us first of all find out the value for d which is common difference so common difference d is equal to a2 minus a1 uh, any in the difference between any of the consecutive numbers moving from the right to left this is what how we get the common difference i am considering a2 minus a1 if you can consider a3 minus a2 so or i can write d is equal to 28 because the value of a2 is 28 and the value of a1 is 25 or d is equal to 3 so guys you could see that we got the value for d as 3 now let us take this the, take the value of d and utilize the sum of the arithmetic equation formula now i can write what i can write a n the value of a n is 100 if you look here if you look into the table the value for a n is 100 and the value of a1 is 25 now let us use those things so instead of a n i am going to write 100 is equal to a1 25 plus n minus 1 into d d value is 3 or i can write 100 is equal to 25 plus 3 n minus 3 or i can write 100 is equal to 25 minus 3 which is 22 plus 3 n or in other words just i can reverse the calculation so that it will be easy for us i can write 22 plus 3 n is equal to 100 if i do if i write in this way nothing wrong is going to happen or i can write 3 n is equal to 100 minus 22 or 3 n is equal to 78 or 3 or I can write n is equal to 78 upon 3 hope guys still here we are very clear or I can write what I can write or I can write n is equal to 3 to the 6 3 6 the 18 so guys we are able to find out the value for n is 26 now as I told you we are going to take the help of the sum of the arithmetic equation formula and we are going to find out the value of sn or s 26 because we uh, now we found out the value for n so if you look here in this particular table we got the value of n 
this nth term is 100 that means this is the 100th uh, this sorry this uh, we got the value for n is 26 that means this is the 26th term so we are going to take the help of this 26 so we what we got now we got a1 is 25 we got a n instead of a n now i can write a 26 because we came to know that the value of n is 26 so we got the value of a1 is 25 and we got the value of a26 is 100 now let us utilize those things here and find out the sum of the given number sequence in order to find out the sum of the given number sequence we very well know that the formula is 2sn 2sn is equal to n into a1 plus a n or i can write 2 s 26 because we got the value of n is 26 26 is equal to 2 into s 26 is equal to 26 into a1 a1 is 25 and a26 a26 is nothing but uh, 100 these things i just considered it from the table or these things are already given or i can write or i can write what i can write or i can say s26 is equal to 26 upon 2 into 125 because 25 plus 100 is 125 or s26 is equal to 13 into 125 or i can uh, or i can say what i can say or i can say s26 is equal to s26 is equal to 1625 or i can say s26 is equal to 1625 so guys this is our answer the question asked us to find out the sum of the given arithmetic progression that is uh, 25 plus 28 plus 31 plus dot 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 plus 100 and we calculated or we found out the sum of the given numbers is 1625 hope guys you understood the uh, process or the steps that i followed in order to find out the sum of the given arithmetic progression but still if you have any doubts or questions please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future thank you bye